Hi everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, coming to you again with another weekly walkthrough. What is a weekly walkthrough, you say? Well, as a buyer's agent that helps buyers look at homes and buy homes all across Eastside Portland, I'm showing people homes all the time. And to make that even easier, I like to every week take a tour through an active listing that's here in Eastside Portland. And today is an excellent example of that. I've got a beautiful mid-century modern ranch just north of Reed College in the Reedwood neighborhood right behind me that we're gonna take you through. Okay, pardon the interruption, but I just had to jump in and explain what Reed College is because some of you might be wondering, Alex, what's the significance of being just north of Reed College? Well, Reed College is an independent liberal arts college founded in 1908 here in Portland. So it's got these beautiful brick buildings that sprawl across the big open campus. But that's not even the most important thing about Reed College to me and the others that live around it. Let me show you what is. It's this, this right here, Reed Lake. Just a beautiful wooded area that covers a huge part of the campus. It's a great big lake that's completely surrounded by beautiful walking trails. And as you can see out in the lake, there's ducks swimming in the springtime. You can see the ducks with the little tiny goslings, so cute. My wife and I love to come out here and walk our dog almost every weekend around this great nature area of Portland. Now this baby is worth $650,000 and it's a great price for something that is three beds, three full bath, 2,500 square feet and in excellent condition. So this is an excellent one, one to show you. Just a really quick uh, history about the area. This is the Reedwood Platte. When uh, back in the early 60s, it was all apple orchards here and the plan for the city was to cut down all the trees and build a shopping mall. But fortunately, a couple savvy uh, developers stepped in and ended up turning this whole area into the latest in building design and built this entire mid-century modern area called the Reedwood Platte. And this home is a great example of that. It's in fantastic shape. So let's go on in and take a look. To begin with, you have this great expanse of front yard that looks out onto a very quiet street. It is not a drive through street, so it's a beautiful, quiet area. And you can see all the great mature trees in the yard. Now coming in, I love this covered patio uh, area as you walk up to the front door, beautiful front steps. All gorgeous Roman brick you'll notice on the outside. The uh, main picture of the house I don't think really does justice to what this exterior could be. I'll just point that out really quickly. We've got this gorgeous white Roman brick and I think it's just a matter of opinion if we were to repaint this house something like a dark blue that white Roman brick would really pop and create a great modern look to this home and maybe even to take it a step further uh, stained natural wood soffits on all underneath this patio area. If you've got some ideas of how to dress up this house and how you would do it, share your comments on uh, YouTube or on my Facebook channel. Now one thing to mention about this place is a uh, home of uh, some artists. The current owners are artists and so you're going to see a lot of great art around. When you come in, we've got hallways and bedrooms, but I'm going to first take you into the kitchen. Got the original cabinetry here, and one thing that they did, being that they're not uh, big cookers uh, at home and not, aren't spending a whole lot of time in the kitchen, they removed the double ovens that were right here and left that to be uh, more cabinetry. And, but you're not without an oven because you've got the microwave convection oven combo right there with your stove top. So just minimal, uh, minimizing the, the cookware in the kitchen and giving you a bit more shelving space. Two sets of sliding doors, one off of this breakfast nook area, which they use as a dining area, but you could uh, make it your breakfast nook area, which flows on into what would be considered the formal dining room, which they use as a great little TV room, separate from the formal living room. Here we have sliding doors to the outside. Let's check that out really quick. A few other things I really love about this home we can see out here, once again, Great manicured landscaping in the back. Ooh, this patio looks like it's practically brand new, poured concrete, looks gorgeous. 
with lots of great plants outside. Also around the side of the house, more patio, a little bit covered, would be perfect for barbecuing, some outside storage shed area. And this here reminding me to remind you that this house has air conditioning. Back inside, what we have here is a double-sided fireplace, all adorned with the same Roman brick that we have on the exterior of the house, but with also this beautiful quartz slab down below and up top. What you're seeing underfoot here are bamboo hardwood floors, which are in great shape. They flow throughout pretty much the entire main, and they feel very solid underfoot. It's nothing like a sub-quality laminate flooring. This feels like good, hard, hardwood floors. Coming down the hallway, we find two of our three bedrooms. One bedroom right here with uh, folding closet doors. And then whisking you along into the hallway, back into the hallway again, we have the shared master bath. And then into the master bedroom, which has a really good size. Here's a great opportunity to point out all throughout the main floor, we've got newish vinyl double pane windows. Great for the energy efficiency, especially if you're going to have a house that has an air conditioner, good to have some good energy efficiency with it. And then back in here, we've got the full bath, for the master bedroom and great walk-in. Lots, lots of space in here. All right, let's check out the basement. So as we come around back up to the front door, here's our stairway to the basement, also with the bamboo hardwood floors. And I love this platform right here, which they've decorated beautifully it gives you some ideas of what you could be doing if you own this house. What sort of decorations would you have here as you're heading to the downstairs? When we come downstairs, carpeted floors, panel board wall, very classic of the uh, uh, mid-century modern style, certainly, certainly the panel walls. We have our third bedroom down here that is a conforming bedroom, closet space, dugout egress right there. Oh, I love this as a guest room. If I was coming to visit, I would want to stay there. Lots of family room space in this family room. Feels very deep, very open, great ceiling height. I don't feel claustrophobic in this at all. Great feeling. And finally, back over here, we've got the guest's full bathroom, which has been more recently updated than the other bathrooms and looks great. I'm just telling you, everything in this house is in great shape. This is a move-in ready home. And finally, down into the utility room, a little workout space and a fantastic high energy or high, high efficiency furnace that has been very well installed. Great uh, work on installing that and the laundry just to the side. Fantastic space for doing your laundry and using the utility room as you would. So this home is absolutely worth seeing and I really want to show it to you. So if you want to take a look at your own private tour of it, it's so easy to do. Just give me a call, 503-233-4592 anytime or send me an email or a text message and we will get you into this house to take a look at it or any other house that you find online. Don't forget you can go to alexroy.johnoscott.com and with Property Tracker, you have got the best home search website in the Pacific Northwest better than Redfin, better than Zillow, better than Trulia. It's better than them all. You got to check it out. I'm Alex Roy, working hard for your success.